Hey folks, welcome back to the wealth around us. I just wanted to uh, go over my latest uh, hurdle in solar technology. This is what I call the personal solar generator. And as you can see, it has Jinx's full approval. But uh, I've made this for around 150 bucks of just stuff you bought at Walmart. So whoever says solar is expensive and not practical needs to talk to me because I'll point you in the right direction. No problem. I saw uh, engineer uh, one seven Sarah, whatever the guy's name is. Uh, he's connected with Such and all that, and he had said that uh, he just doesn't see solar being practical. And I can total, I can totally, totally jive with that. But this one is, you know, this this one is practical for just one guy, you know, in a tent needing some power, and that's exactly what I was aiming at the whole time. Now, we got some stuff stuffed in here because there's some extra room in there for uh, some other supplies and stuff, but this is just the alligator clips and stuff that come with it for hooking it up to a car battery or some other ATV battery or any kind of deep cycle battery you want to charge. makes it a lot easier than messing with terminals. All this wiring is from the solar panel. And as you can see, that's how it hooks up to charge. The solar panel of mine is working. It's it would be charging right now if I had it hooked up to the AC socket inside, and uh, you know this is just off a fluorescent light. So that that's a real efficient solar panel. It's a mono mono crystal solar panel. It's mounted right here at the edges. It's got a loose edge on it. I need to do something with that, but not right now. What we've got it overall is a pretty uh, pretty cool little package. It's built out of a marine battery box. It cost me seven dollars. Uh, One dollar. I output switch, it's already on. And uh, what we're gonna do now, show you what it's made out of internally. And as you can see, that's a 410 watt inverter. We've got 410 watts continuous power. Uh, two of these and a USB. That's great for my little droid, by the way, because that's what it charges on USB. This is Hank's circuit. Now this is a simple two-way circuit with a breaker. And it's all made out of wires and parts like that and connectors. It's just a matter of knowing how to operate the wiring. This would usually be what you want to hook up AC stuff to when you're using it, which it is right now. So let's see what we're pulling. 120, nice. Nice. Okay. That is a... Let's see if I can get a... No, you put the print inside. Well, that, that is a 12 volt deep cycle lead acid sealed unspillable battery. And we're going to use that uh, as, as the main battery for now. And it's got 10, 10 amp hours on it, which should equal about realistically six hours of using power like you would use it in the house. In other words, if you're pulling an amp, you've got 10 of the, and, and an amp can be, you know, a lot of electricity. An amp will kill you. All right, well, what we have here is the last part of the kit now. This thing is, it stows right here. But uh, this is a ceramic heater and fan. And it's a little noisy and ratty. And as you can see, though, it pulled it down a bolt. It's, oh my. It's not the greatest heater in the world. It takes a second to warm up, but once it does, it actually puts out, you know, usable heat off of this thing, and this thing can do it all night long. You notice that isn't draining real fast or anything. This is not like a huge, huge AC device or anything. I only think it has like 100 volts pulls, but uh, it's it's uh, putting out a lot of good heat. Now, in the situation where you're trapped in your car, or uh, we'll just watch it dance around there a little bit, but uh, in a situation where you're trapped in your car or whatnot, that's putting out enough BTUs to heat like a, a tent cot or a small one-man tent or anything like that. And, you know, you can run it off solar all day long, run it off of uh, the stored power at night, and that's, you know, warmth. So that's another good thing to have and, and that I equipped it for just for using in camping situations and whatnot. And, uh, we're going to try hooking some other things up to it. As you can see, the box has uh, upside down ports for all your wires and stuff to just hang over the edges of this. So uh, it's pretty much weather resistant too. It can be a little moist out. It can be a little bit uh, stormy and it's still going to be okay. I'm going to weatherproof that solar panel make sure that it's sealed and everything it doesn't have any shorts. But uh, that's what you're looking at, people. It was, you know, 
I've seen these retailing for any anything like this, even hand built retailing for three, three fifty, four hundred sometimes even for a reliable system. And this is all you need, and I built it for about one hundred fifty. So check your local Walmart, check your local Craigslist, uh, see what you can get your hands on, because I'm sure that people out there that know more than I do about this sort of stuff could build a lot better and a lot more compact. I just, you know, was taking what I was getting, and this is basically what I came up with, and it certainly seems to serve its purpose. But there you have it, personal solar generator for low, low bucks, and I have energy anywhere I want to go on the earth now as long as I want it. Anywhere the sun shines, I'm cool. I'll have warmth. I'll be able to charge my phone and call somebody. Hell, I'll be able to mix margaritas in the middle of the Congo if I want to and vacuum, you know, my hut out. So, uh, you know, I hope everybody watching shares this with your friends and we push this thing forward because one of these per every person would reduce, you know, global energy costs greatly. I mean, I, I estimate by more than 25% overall. So uh, just remember, there's a wealth around us that we're not tapping into, and that's the wealth around you.